Mama Ken. We're going to talk about the Tremotina enamel cast iron. 6.5 quart Dutch oven. I am going to do some potatoes in here with onions, sweet bell peppers, and we're going to see how it comes out. I got this for Sam's. It's got a lifetime warranty, but you know, always know that's a limited lifetime warranty. But since I have a business um, membership at Sam's, for me, I can text anything back regardless. It doesn't even matter. But got this for Sam's. It was um, $39.98, but as of the 25th, no, 26th of October up until I think the 2nd of November, I'm not for certain. This is $29.98. A steal because if you go online, it's a little bit more. A lot of different places like uh, J.C. Penney's and stuff like that. A few people have them for fifty nine. Some people have some people even have this thing for ninety nine, ninety eight. How I don't know. However, you know, it's a good deal. I think. Well, we're gonna try it out and see. Uh, recommended for this to preserve its original finish. And I love this about this. It's telling you to hand wash and dry to preserve the original finish. I love it when they be honest with you and tell you that because I don't like putting stuff in the dishwasher. I do. I like to clean my stuff myself. I don't. I have a dishwasher, but I don't use it. That's crazy. At any rate, um, I just feel like I'm gonna let it spot. I don't know. I haven't opened it up to see. I'm pausing a bit because I got a lot of thoughts. It uh, has superior heat retention and distribution, you know, so you're going to cook it evenly and thoroughly. Uh, long time lasting finish, we'll see. From oven to tabletop, we'll see. Um, and basically, that's it on the outside. It's cast iron, enamel. Throw this on the floor right now. Uh -oh. I got two colors in this. I got the um the green and I got uh, a red. I started to get the white. But my dog was like, oh, no, that's going to scratch up my <laughs> So, and again, got this one from Sam's. Oh, this is the red one. Okay. The other one must be the green one. This is so crazy. You get, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, and this is my unboxing of it. I'm telling you guys that I'm getting the green one because I do have the green one. But the green is not in here. The red is in the green box. And I'm gonna show you another pot that I got from um Marshalls where the same thing was just like that. It's crazy. They package stuff all different kind of ways, you know? But it's all good. So these are the little clips that was on it. And this is very heavy, but it's pretty. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see that, that finish. It reminds me of the, um, let me say, pots and pans. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm quite sure you guys will tell me if I'm saying that right. But um, this is the pot, two different colors. You see, I just took it out the box like that. But look at the finish on this. This is actually supposed to be, when you put it into the oven, really uh, sturdy. And I'm going to see how sensitive to the touch it is and if it is truly good as far as you can touch it coming out the oven. Obviously, if something is in the oven, it's going to be hot. But we do have a lot of things, a lot of pots and pans where they've done so much with technology, you know, that you get that better feel when you're pulling that out. I'm so into because I'm tired of putting pot holders and stuff in the oven and all that. 
but this is considered to be a Dutch oven. It's perfect choice for preparing slow cooked soups, stews, sauces, braising meats, baking breads, and casseroles, and much more. Again, it enables uh, the cast iron distributes the heat slowly and evenly to tenderize and self base meats, poultry, and vegetables, and lock in fresh flavors. Because I'm going to do a cornbread. I am going to do cornbread in here also. So I got a few things I'm going to show you and run a few videos at one time, but we're going to see how that works out. Now, let me start getting everything prepped because I'm going to show you actually another pot that uh, is the Le Croisette pot. I'll be right back. Okay. Got the pot, got the potatoes, got the onions, got the bell peppers, got the extra virgin olive oil, and my family loves seasonal. Uh-oh, Tiffany trying to rock up in that cast iron. At any rate, and also um, got the spaghetti, the pot with the spaghetti over here on the stove, cooking. Pot with the spaghetti on the stove. Yeah, cooking. Pot, spaghetti. Woo, steaming up real nice. Also, this can go, that uh, mep mepra pot can go on the um, the induction. I don't know if you guys seen that induction plate that they have out. New Wave has it out. I'm going to show you something on that. And it's also dishwasher safe, oven safe, gas, electric, and halogen. That pot can be used for basically everything. It's made in... Um, it's an Italian pot. You can go to www.mapra.com and you can get all the specifics. This particular pot is 1950. Now, I wanted to try this out. The pot I got from Sam's. What's the name of this pot? Trapatina. Neo. This is the Trapatina for Sam's. $39.99 but on sale for a limited time for $29.99 and uh, if you don't pick it up at Sam's you can also go pick it up at JCPenney's and other places it's a bit more high, a bit more up in price. So I'm going to layer this because I did this the other day in, um, uh oh, dropped the potato on the floor. Somebody got to get the potato so the animal will get the potato on the floor. Into the garbage it goes. So I'm putting my potatoes on the bottom. When I'm using, and somebody take off my bracelet, please. I'm using um, cast iron. When I'm using cast iron or anything, I don't like to put any olive oil or anything on the bottom because I I, I don't really want to braise my potatoes. I want my potatoes to be really good, and when you when I put my stuff in a pot like this first, the potatoes and no liquid, it comes out really nicely. Okay, so then um, I'm going to start with onions because onions are healthy. Then in the mix of my onions, I have sweet peppers. I have red, yellow, and I also have orange. Everything is always so nice and colorful, and I love that. Now what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna put my household like season all. I'm just gonna give a little season all right there. Not too much, not too little. I kind of like when I'm a little heavy handed on it. And um, I'm gonna do the next layer. Did you all want cheese on this or just like this? Cheese. Okay, somebody give me some cheese. Which cheese y'all want, Bo? Okay. More cheese, I love stuff super heavy. Yes. 
Get past me. Huh? Oh, you want to? Oh, okay. I was just like, no, you gonna grade it? Yeah. yeah. The video on? Oh. I didn't know the video was still going. My bad. Okay, so I haven't used a grade in a while. I didn't even know the camera was still running. Okay. You use it like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, this? No, 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 just down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then it just come on like that, yeah. They got me grading on camera. Mm -hmm. I ain't grading nothing in years. That's what we got that accusing art for. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Mm -hmm. So, while I'm um, grading cheese, which I had no, my daughter's trying to reach over there so she don't be on camera. While I'm grading cheese, I guess I can talk to y'all. Um, oh, this just takes so long. Yeah. My daughter said no. Yeah. You can just cut. Well, no, I'm already on camera. But see, I don't like to, you know. Coming along, it's kind of fun. <laughs> but is this as good as like when I chop it up? See, I like no, no. I like um talking to this little cat down there. I don't want to eat no cheese, eat any cheese, so I should say. So I hope everybody is doing well. I had no uh, anticipation on how to do this right here, right now. But I'm gonna do this right here, right now. Okay, that's enough for the fucking grater. The um, I just um, well, I guess once you do it that way, then you should keep doing it that way. So mm, this is sharp cheese. That was mozzarella. I didn't know if they wanted cheese or not on it, so they said they wanted cheese. And they always like everything to be pretty. Oh, this is so pretty, though. We're going to put this up to the camera. All the different colors. And, by the way, this is a Pillsbury. Um, little Pillsbury thing. I got this from the dollar store. Didn't we get this from the dollar store? Mm -hmm. So. And it's doing its job. But I got an expensive um, Cusinart 14 quart. That has a grater on there. But this is cute though. I know they use this when they make their pieces and stuff, you know. That's cute for sure. You got it in there real good, Mila, so they can see it. <laughs> I know I stopped using the grater because one time I was using the grater and I sliced my finger and I swore that I would never use the grater again. But see, when you got some beautiful children like that, there, you just do whatever for your children. My children took me to Marshalls and spent two hundred dollars on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They sure did. My seventeen year old and my uh how old are you? Twenty-two. Twenty-two year old. Yeah, that was awful now. You see I keep banging at it. I'm glad the pot not breaking. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for my next layer. of uh, this, my daughter's getting a, um, you don't have to get in close on this, you can just wait, they ain't got to be all up in my business, <laughs> they ain't got to be all up in my business, cause you know how funny they be, all up in your business, talking about you and shit, oh you ain't doing this right, and yes I did, I told my daughter to undo the comments, cause I'm tired. I don't want to hear that shit that people saying about blah 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 then calling you fat and ugly and all that. You gotta be kidding me. What's ugly and fat on me? That's what I want to know. But you know you got people out there that just want attention. And then talking about how you gonna say the Lord name in vain. You've never heard me use those words. So cut it out. And that's the end of that. And now I'm putting my onions in here. I was thinking about putting a little chicken stock up in here, but you know, I haven't been on meat. My daughter was like, yeah, I'm going to put it in there, but I haven't been on meat for three or four months now. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
I was just gonna go along with this. That's my onions. And I don't know if you guys notice what I'm doing. I'm not putting the season on directly on the potatoes because I don't want it to soak in, but I want that flavor. If you can understand that, my, it should be good. It does. It really does. I am an awesome cook. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm an awesome cook. Um, hope everybody is doing well. Go out and vote. Uh, be happy. Be prosperous. Oh my god, I didn't know what that was. Okay, now I'm putting my next layer on of potatoes. And I want everybody to know, if you see me reaching for a season now and all this, that, and the other, we so clean in here that I wipe stuff down. I mean, like, literally speaking, my season on bottle has been wiped down. So if somebody touches something like that, it's going straight to, you know, no bacteria, no germs. And I know some people say, oh my God, you got to have some bacteria and some germs. No, you don't. Not in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. You don't need no germs in the kitchen. No extra bacteria, I mean. You don't need it. Don't let people tell you that. Just make sure your stuff is like clean, 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 you know? Because you can die. You fool around and be, oh my God. I mean, you didn't even let me put no cheese on there. I didn't even shred no cheese on that one. I'm so talking up in this bed, boy. Don't worry. Look, them potatoes come right about there. Look at that. boop dee doo 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 because this video is not getting edited. It's just the way it is. Uh, uh, and that's a huh. Who is that? Run DMC, baby. All day. Um, I wish you could do uh, music. I'd be jamming, but you can't do music because of the copyright on uh, YouTube. But that's fine. It was a really awesome day today in Vegas. The weather was perfect. Uh, what was the weather? Anybody know what the temperature was? 82. 82 in Vegas. 82 in Vegas. Uh oh, somebody fell down in my house. Man down, man down. This is so soothing, really. I was just going to cut some cheese, put some slices in there like I did last time. I did it in um, a Kenmore pan. I cooked, uh, baked my potatoes in a Kenmore pan, which is also my cake pan, actually. I did a lemon cake in there last night. You, know, you don't like Alfredo sauce, do you? Oh, you do? Oh, we're going to get quirked up in here. Well, how come you don't like that Alfredo pasta? That lifting? Uh, it was just the other seasons on it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I like Alfredo. Just making sure I get this all over. I'm popping this stuff all over. I'm having cheese all over the place. I was getting the cheese like this because um, I shop at Sam's. And um, this was the better buy. But then we went to another Sam's in another area. And they had that five-pound block. Because I was getting this uh, two-pound block of cheese. Of cheese. Mozzarella cheese. I just want this to be like we love cheese in my household. I ate cheese so much with one of my daughters that when she was born, when she could eat, she ate cheese. Oh my God. Does she eat, still eat cheese like that, y'all? Pretty much, because if the cheese is gone, they won't say who ate it all. They just be like, oh yeah, somebody got it. My daughter said, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope I'm not boring y'all with this. But um again, I got this little thing from the 99 cent store. Pillsbury. 
for one dollar. Don't sleep on that ninety nine cent store now. I get my auto wallets from there. I even got a sixty four ounce auto wallet for a dollar there. That's normally um six bucks. I be all fashionable and everything, but I'm all for saving money. Saving money. Oh, this is so pretty. And when you cook it sometimes, if you think outside the box, I know a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, you got to do this a certain way, you got to do that a certain way. No, you don't. You do it the way you feel comfortable with and enjoy cooking. I know, uh, now I'm going to layer this. I do things the way I feel comfortable with because... You know, I like to try different things. I don't want to be the same person that everyone else is, you know. And my taste buds and everything are a bit unique. Although my favorite food is pasta and hamburgers, but since I've been off of meat, you know, I've had those uh, veggie burgers also. They're pretty good. I know Smash Burger has a black bean burger that I might want to try. And, um, See how that works out, but for now, I got all this in here, and the way I did it in my pan over here the other day was just sick. I just put all of the um, it's my last batch of um, onions because since I had it all throughout, I just want when you go to go eat it, you know. You just spoon it out and get all the goodness in there. And even all of my containers. Like, I got this container years ago. And uh, this is uh, holds 9.5 uh, cups of um, anything. I got this years ago at uh, Dominic's in Chicago. I picked these up. This is Betty Crocker. I got these from the 99 cent also. And Dollar Tree. You can pick them up at Dollar Tree, too. So I got that, got that. And... We're just going to be redundant here. Well... We can add that there. You want more cheese on top right there, Mingo, or you want to just um, add it later? Uh, yeah, what's your way you doing? Oh, no, you change the scope of the things, baby girl. <laughs> I don't know. Once you said, let's use that grater. Uh -huh. That's it, looks pretty to top it off, but uh, I'm going in for the. Alfredo sauce now. I have creamy and I have garlic. Alfredo. Now the funny thing about this Alfredo sauce the barilla y'all know about that barilla at the 99 cent store, no, Dollar Tree around me. You know how much, how expensive this is. And this doesn't expire until, um, what, 2019 or something. Yeah. That's 17. Yeah. Anyway. Right there. But really, it's expensive. Don't sleep on your Dollar Tree. And don't sleep on your 99 cent store. And no. You're not being a cheapskate. You're being wise. So, what I'm going to do is... Always good to save money. Always good to save money. I just need a spazoon. And... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix, and this is this is new, 14.5 ounces.
that is my garlic. And this is just my creamy. And I did have garlic that I could put in there, but every time I put garlic inside my door, I'd be like, oh, oh, I taste this the garlic. Because, <laughs> you know, the garlic is so strong. And I freeze my garlic because I was getting it from a place called Restaurant Depot. And um, I got it in bulk. And um, it was already uh, minced, minced garlic. So already peeled, chopped up, and everything. And um, I'm gonna mix this, and I would, I just freeze it, you know. So I got that cooked. Let's mix it. Yeah, taste. Mm. I love Barilla. Barilla is awesome. This one. Right there. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my extra virgin olive oil, uh, produced in Italy, Spain, Greece, and Tosinia. Bottle and packaged in Italy, also. The Italy Chef, you know where I got it from. Yep, Sam's. I'm quite sure you can find this brand. A, a nice, real nice extra olive oil anywhere, you know. It doesn't have to be a Sam's, but I talk about Sam's because I have a business uh, relationship with Sam's, so that's what I deal with. And I just, you know, let it soak in all across. I don't layer it uh, all the time when I'm doing stuff. Now we're gonna take this. Oh, look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. And I let that soak and cook down. That's just the way, you know, I like to do it. I don't like to layer it. Not the sauce. I did it that way last time. And it, I don't know, it really didn't make a difference. So, it just went evenly down when it cooks. And I kind of like that look, look it gives at the end when you put it in the oven and it kind of like fries. You have that little fried cheese on top. doing oh I feel so boring I feel like I'm not <laughs> I feel so boring I don't know why this is I haven't done a video in a while so and this will cook I want to see really how this cooks in this pot this is gonna cook really good in this pot and usually what I do is I take my little extra and um what I did with my last ones, I used to take my extras and put like a little milk in here and shake it up. So I have that seasoning for the next time. Hey, can somebody put some milk in here for me for this? Okay, now that's it. This is in here, and it is going to do all of its magic. Uh, potatoes, sweet yellow onions, sweet red. As I was saying, seasoning all, Morton's, extra virgin olive oil, Barilla, creamy Alfredo, garlic Alfredo. And mozzarella cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. And it's in the pot and it's ready to go. Boom. See you soon. Okay. This is saying that it's red. But you saw me open the other one. So we will assume that somebody was doing some funny business on us. 
at Sam's and um, this is going to be the green one. We're going to hope this is the green one because that's the one, the other box I had, green, came out red. Red comes out. Green, Sam's. The people got to quit playing with me. <laughs> But no, it's probably the um, the manufacturer, you know, the manufacturing so much stuff that everything uh, pretty much gets thrown together. So I am going to do my daughter's cornbread. She makes cornbread from scratch. And... Um, it comes out awesome. Instead of using butter, we use olive oil. Uh, so this is the green one. And green and red. Or teal, I'm sorry. Teal. Teal and red. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to get this washed up. And... My orange cornbread in there. And I'll be right back. About to put my cornbread in the trapatina. What's this pie called? Traumatina. Traumatina. Why is it called trauma? 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 Oh my god, trauma. Like it's gonna be something bad. This is homemade cornbread. Thicker than your new growth. Look how thick that cornbread is, baby. I got this little whiskey thing. Whiskey thing. Whisk from uh, 99 cent store, too. You get it, um, Dollar Tree. Am I promoting Dollar Tree today and 99 cent store or what? If you don't have to pay a lot for stuff, don't. As long as it's good quality and you can use it. And this is Pillsbury too. Everything I get is either Betty Crocker or Pillsbury. So as far as my utensils is concerned. This uh, mixing bowl, I actually got three of these mixing bowls, but that's a total different story. That's from the casino. That's from, I think this is from Four Winds in Michigan. Yeah. I got a lot of my stuff from Casino. A lot of bowl sets and stuff like that. My garage is like insane. That's some of the giveaway stuff that I wanted to give away because uh, I know a lot of people use like different dishes and stuff. And my stuff has never been, you know, used or anything like that. And I just wanted to show my appreciation to my, my followers. I don't know how many followers I got. Can somebody check and see how many followers I got? Can you zoom in on this goodness? That's that homemade cornbread from scratch. Literally speaking, from scratch. Hey, what's in the cornbread? Cornmeal. Cornmeal. Milk. Milk. Egg. egg. Olive oil. Olive oil. Sugar. Sugar. Flour. Flour. Baking powder. Baking powder. And salt. And salt. And a lot of love she put up in this. She put a lot of love in there. A lot of love. Okay, it's going to the oven. It's going to the oven. Do y'all dance when you're in the kitchen? I used to have music playing, but... And they will put a tag on my account. And you get three of them and then you, they boot you off or whatever. But somebody made the comment, well, they wish me the best of luck after they said a whole bunch of other shit. And um, said, I guess it's all about the money for you. Let me tell you something. YouTube don't pay you a lot of money for doing these videos. What you talking about? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You don't, huh? Are you kidding me?
It's the truth. Should I tell them how much I got on my first check? Oh, no, don't tell them nothing like that. You don't get paid. Just me on that. The hand clap, you know, the crazy hand clap. But are you my, I tell my, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this in the envelope. I'm going to show you guys how it comes out. I'm going to say bye one more time. But they, I think they might have to edit this one because I don't know. I'm doing like three pots, you know, two different colors, two different pots. But I talked about, you know, doing other stuff. They're going to splice it and do all that. Let's try this cornbread. Oh, it's like a cake. Oh, I like that crunch on the top. Okay, pass me the uh, uh, plate of salsa. Oh, I always, when you're trying to get the first piece out, it's always like, Ugh. So. I got that little pie thing. Is that pie thing on that side? Thing? I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Le Crusade. Le Crusade. Le Crusade. And this just came out the oven. It's not bad. Oh my god, trying to get it out. That first piece is. Look at that. The weight of it is incredible. The first piece is gonna look funny. Oh, you know how that first piece always come out of something deep. Don't be playing with me. Acting like it still ain't good. And it's still good. Look at that crust on there. I love my cornbread when it come out like that with that crust. But as you know, the first piece is always messy. But um that's really a spoon. This um When it come all out in one, even if it don't come all out in one, I still love it. Tramatina. That's what it is, Tramatina. Mm -hmm. From Costco. Oops, my bad. From Sam's. It's been a long day. And um it cooked really well. I don't know if we're gonna show them. 
But when you use olive oil, everything is like really, 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 really soft. I put it on the uh, low thing, low shelf, because I'm running a crunch on there. Crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Try this pot for your corn, bread. There's also the breads in here too, excuse me. Breads. And of course the soups and the stews and stuff like that, but I just wanted to try my cornbread in there and I did it. Now you have some chili. Put this up in there. Chili crumble it. On the spaghetti. Crumble it on that spaghetti. And it's awesome. Um, try olive oil in your stuff. Comes out really well. Thank you for watching again. I'm going to bed. Good night. Got my fork ready. My plate. My spatula. This thing is steel too. And yes, I did. I got it from a 99 cent store. Got two for a dollar. So we're gonna go into this with this. What's this pot again? Trauma see the pot. I don't know why, cause it's trauma. Why would they use the word trauma? Tina. I don't know. But here goes. And I want y'all to know when I cook in the oven, I like my stuff a little black and it ain't firm. It's black and on this kid. No, I'm not just kidding. You're digging in. Ooh, look at them taters. And that cheese. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Maybe you want to eat all those onions? What? <laughs> then this gonna have to be my place. What the hell? <laughs> she said no. Oh Lord. The onions is mixed all in. Girl, all the onions. I give you some with the. You want either bell peppers? I guess so. Yeah, You can put some more cheese on there. Mm-hmm. Okay, well I shouldn't do yours on camera, huh? I'm okay. just gonna sit that back there. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you. I had got her a special or not a four or not. See them potatoes came out with that real little, you know. I will taste the onion, green pepper. I mean red peppers. And see how when I put the sauce on, everything just went through. And it came out really nice. And my onions. And my bell peppers. See, I love me some onions and bell peppers. My household probably get tired of me, but I really do. And my cheese. It's been such a long day. I'm so hungry. Anyway, mm -mm. shit. Anyway, you get to see how this cook. There's no man being able to see. Cause at the bottom. And remember, this was dry as a bone. And I drizzle my little olive oil with my cheeses and stuff. And um. It came out real good. And you see how the, the it's not even sticking. I can pull all my little crust down. I like that little crust. I can pull all my little crust down with this. Easy. Look at that. Not sticking at all. I like a pan where stuff don't stick to it. You can just put it, do what you need. Look at that potato. That potato just is cooked as I don't know what. And um, I cooked it for an hour. Hour and 30 minutes in this pan and my potatoes came out ooh soft and soft see how soft that is okay thank you for watching try this pot out you don't have to get it at Sam's you can get it at JC Penney's I believe you can get it at Macy's too you can get it at Kohl's you can get it at a lot of different places but it's just $29.99
And, um, yeah, I said at Sam's. And if it's not on sale at Sam's because it's a short period of time, it's going to be $39. $39 for a good pot. And da 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 da. I took it out the oven and you can pick it up. Then speaking. Of course, it's uh, a hot when you first take it out, but look like the cool down temperature on it. Oh shit, not on that top. That top is hot as a motherfucker. <laughs> that top is hot as a motherfucker. <laughs> that top was hot. Anyway, deuces. I gotta go. I'm tired. I did all these videos in one day. I just try to bring y'all some good sales. Or nada. Don't talk about that on another one. Trauma Tina. This, this color. I'm gonna get some white ones, some blue ones, some yellow, purple. I'm gonna have a rainbow up in this kitchen here. I'm renovating. Yep, finally took the stuff out. I'm renovating, so. <sighs> Everything's gonna be different. Creme de la creme. Avant gold. I'm being too silly now. I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay, you ready? Okay, y'all saw how the pot, when I cooked in it yesterday. Can't erase that. I said yes. Y'all saw how when I cooked in that pot and all this stuff was baked on. Look at this. Look how clean that pot came. Look at that. Look at that. This is really, really a nice pot. Because usually your uh, cast irons with that enamel, it'll go wrong the first day. Especially if you're trying to uh, cook something in there. And uh, I did on a 450 heat for an hour and 30 minutes. And um, you saw how everything was literally speaking baked on there. And look at that. Look at that. I'm going to rest it out. And I'll show you the finished product. Now, look at this pot. So I cooked those potatoes in there, baked it. That it was, that pot was dirty, 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 dirty after them potatoes. And everybody enjoyed the potatoes. Did everybody enjoy the potatoes? Yeah. Yeah. They say in a week, but it's gone. Those potatoes are finished. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey. Mrs. Don't be telling me I don't clean my pots. Clean. Look at that. Drug all across the inside of my stove. No marks on the bottom. Awesome sauce. Deuces. Daily yum. Shot time money up in here. I'm a gladiator. I'm a gladiator. I'm a gladiator. Stop.